Edinburgh is a city with a rich history, vibrant cultural scene, and stunning architecture. With so much to see and do, it can be difficult to know where to start. If you only have 24 hours in Edinburgh, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll talk you through a sample itinerary that will allow you to experience some of the best that Edinburgh has to offer. We're going to plot out the itinerary from morning until night, although we won't be filming from morning until night, but of course it may need shuffling depending on when you arrive to and depart from Edinburgh. And this itinerary will be especially packed to help you get the most out of your short stay in Edinburgh. And we will offer a few alternative suggestions as well. Let's go! Start the day off right with some delicious breakfast. After breakfast, walk it off with a stroll along Edinburgh's famous Royal Mile. Check out Ramsey Garden, Advocates Close, St. Giles Cathedral, and more. Be sure also to pop behind some of the winds and closes, which are basically alleyways off the Royal Mile. Next, head to the historic Edinburgh Castle, which sits atop Castle Rock overlooking the city and is home to the Scottish Crown Jewels and St. Margaret's Chapel, the oldest surviving building in Edinburgh. Be sure also to stay for the shooting of the one o'clock gun. As popular an attraction Edinburgh Castle is, and as much as everyone says that you must visit the castle when you're in Edinburgh, we know that castles might not be everyone's cup of tea, so don't feel pressured to go if you really don't want to. A few alternatives to visiting the castle are the Scotch Whiskey Experience, an interactive attraction that tells you the story of how whiskey in Scotland is made. Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, a fun attraction with more than five floors of over 100 illusions, and may be especially fun if traveling with kids and Palace of Hollywood House, the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. Now head down to the Grass Market via Victoria Street for some lunch. With its colourful buildings, Victoria Street is one of the most photographed streets in Edinburgh. Once you reach Grass Market, you'll find a vibrant area with pubs, hotels and local shops. Historically, Grass Market was a marketplace as well as a place of public executions. Next, take a tour of the real Mary King's Close. This attraction is not often at the top of people's list of things to do in Edinburgh, especially if they're short on time, but we would highly recommend this tour for the history and to help you understand Edinburgh's old town better. During the one hour guided tour, you get to visit, indeed, the real Mary King's Close, which is now hidden under Edinburgh city chambers. Head to Calton Hill to catch the sunset over the city. From the top of the hill, you'll have great views to Edinburgh Castle, Old and New Towns, Arthur Seat, and the Firth of Forth. Now, enjoy some dinner, and after dinner, take a ghost tour of the city. Edinburgh is said to be one of the most haunted cities in the world, and a ghost tour is a great way to learn about the city's spooky history. But if you'd rather not be scared, there are other evening walking tours that might be of interest. Southbridge in Old Town has a series of chambers that are called the Edinburgh Vaults or Southbridge Vaults, which are very interesting as well. And finally, end your night with a drink at one of Edinburgh's many bars or pubs. If you'd like more detailed information on this itinerary and its alternatives, including a few restaurant and tour recommendations, then be sure to check out our accompanying blog post, which you'll find in the description below. We also have lots of other Edinburgh videos, which you'll also find in the description below. We hope this gave you some ideas for your trip to Edinburgh. If you have any questions about Edinburgh, let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.